Little Zoomy boy here. He's gonna teach us about heat transfer today. Look at how cool, I know why he went down there. He almost never swims, but he just decided he's gonna bathe at the b bottom of the pool. Okay, this is the beach where the hermit crabs live and they burrow, that's their habit, but they don't just burrow randomly. So we're gonna stick our temperature probe here and after the sun goes down, the air gets cold rapidly, but the soil, the sand retains heat. So we're gonna take this thermometer with many measurements. We're gonna move it over here to this axis on a chart and we're gonna take samples all along it. Light green is daytime temperature. If you see them burrowing during the day, it's probably to reduce the temperature of their environment so they can get cooler. They like 80 degrees Fahrenheit. Then dark green is gonna be our nighttime temperatures where it swings very low at nighttime but the sand also still remains basically same temperature around 80. So if you see them burrowing at this time, that is if the lights are off and you see them burrowing, they're probably burrowing to try to seek a warmer place. So air temperature is 76 and I just installed a new heater at the base. It hasn't had time to really warm up the sand. And so if we sample the sand here, then we're halfway down, we got uh, 79, okay. But then he found the actual warmest part of the whole terrarium where it's over 81 because the heater is in contact with that base and then it warmed up the bottom of the water first. Originally we had just this heating pad sitting down below the tank and partly making contact but half of the heat would get lost by ex exiting by the air through the bottom. Heater panel with PVC removed down finger. Now I have the heater contacting the glass here and the foam, thick foam, preventing the heat from exiting through the bottom so we're gonna get about twice as much heat entering the terrarium. 